strict clergy home. So in SS, I remember um, mm -hmm. I've forgotten the exact date. It was either in April or the next month, somewhere like that, uh, mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. Then I was coming back from school. Yeah, I was coming back from school, and those times I was a day student, so you pick a car at the um, atomic runabout yeah, there, and yeah. th that time they hadn't changed it, so yeah, you pick a trotro and then you go wherever you're going. So whilst I was going, I hit an old woman, like I bumped into an old woman, I was like, oh, sorry, and I was walking alone. She looked at me, and she said um, something in a different language, and funny enough, I replied, and... Was it a language that we all know? No, no, no. So Mandarin? funny enough, I... No. Mandarin is not that ancient, but funny enough, I replied. <laughs> then she looked at me and she smiled and she was like, "What's my name?" And I said my name. And she shook her head and she was like, "I should follow her." Me to Jimmy, I followed her. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I followed her." So I think at that time it's now about three thirty. That side. PM in yeah, the afternoon. Yeah, in the afternoon. So I followed this lady, Charlie. She used, she passed me some lungu with me. So we went on like we passed. And it took about almost forty five minutes walk. Wow. Then we reached like a small field, be like that. And she was like, uh, What exactly did I say my name was? And I told her my name, and she smiled, and she was like, Human beings, dear, you come here and you accept things here. You are that stupid. Then she touched my forehead. So that wasn't everything. So, so that's, that, that, that was your transformation yeah, point. Like, exactly. You said so much. I mean, yeah. I'm just in awe, you know, <laughs> looking at you. But what really tells or how are we convinced that yeah. you are who you say you are and you can do what you say you are i mean you have to show us something yeah you said we should get do these something sheets. so we, we have ready we have oh. sheets okay, here no we have so markers here let's get on with it okay <laughs> Don't don't catch me. Don't let anything. The last one is live on CCTV. The WhatsApp number is zero five five zero five eight five eight three two. Let's do something. All right. Okay. Um, in what I do, I like combining a lot of things from the esoteric world to the scientific world because I believe combination of things is art itself. You mm, understand? Yeah. And do you believe you can be influenced? Is that a question for me? Is the question? Oh yeah. Good. And do you believe you can be influenced? Yeah. Good. Do you think I can influence you? That's the you question. You can only try. Do you think I can influence you? Can you can try. Okay. So, we'll do this. Okay. Both of you will combine yourselves to form something. And you're laughing. <laughs> and it's something, first and foremost, we have to put it out there. We haven't set anything up. I haven't told you beforehand what to ever think yeah. of. I haven't even told you. I, I mostly I like We've even not talking. Not even met. With, yeah, that's this the, the whole first point. And I didn't want to speak to you. Even and before. you yourself, when <laughs> I even really? entered this speak to me because <laughs> you want to. Yeah. I've been doing my research. I know. I know. Good. So, yeah. with someone who has been doing their research, let's do something. Okay. Imagine right now. Just imagine. Mm. Right now that there is a clock on this table. Mm -hmm. Just imagine. Mm -hmm. Your responsibility is to just see or visualize the hour hand or the hour mark okay it could be analog digital which one do you usually prefer i am i don't like the guitar uh, analog clocks i really prefer digital though but well, which one do you prefer so you so you want to know what i'm imagining you i don't yeah so that i know where to put you digital digital yes okay so meaning the numbers yes. itself okay good and you were the one choose i didn't tell you to choose a digital yeah. clock right good and you for a second you understand why you took cho cho uh, choose a digital but yeah. just watch it carefully and just see the hour hand okay just moving to and through and pick a number for the hour hand same thing for you you imagine the same digital clock and see a minute, all right. Most people don't know there are well, 2440 minutes in a whole day. Mm -hmm. I have the odds of you being able to get up, predict exactly what I have in mind. It's like trying to find a good, like, thrown into the sea, it's almost impossible, all right. Mm -hmm. So, that's the whole thing. So, <laughs> I want you to pick a minute, I want you to pick an hour, and you get to choose whether it's morning or Evening, mm -hmm. so okay. AM or PM. No, 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 you can talk. So, but, but you, you're here. Are you here? Of course. That's the point. I've seen this over and over again. But then, that, but then, was so it? You understand as you go on. So, okay. if you see so night, uh, night. Yes. So you prefer a, a PM. Do you agree to the PM? No, I wanted. Okay, yeah, PM is fine. Are you sure? Yes, yeah, fine. PM is fine. Yeah. <laughs> you have the option to actually <laughs> pick an AM if you want. You sure? 
We are sure. We are sure. Okay, so now that you've picked the PM, all right, mm -hmm. which time exactly? What's the hour? 23 GMT. 23 GMT. So that's 11. Yes. So, and yours is the minutes. It could be anything. Yeah, I don't really care, but it should be something that exists to do. What is it? So, so hold on. Um, if we tell you... Just, you understand as time goes on. So what is it? Okay. What is it? 15. 15. Yeah. 11, 15 p.m. Yeah. Did you just say it or it means something to you or it's just something you just want to throw across? Well, for me, it's the first number that came to my mind. Okay. 15. Yeah. And I don't want it that you'd be like, ah, okay, I could have changed my mind. What if I change my mind? So think mm -hmm. about it. If you want to change your mind, we'll come back to you. Are okay. you sure of your 11? Yeah, I'm sure of 23. Or, which is 23 yeah. hours. That's what I'm sure of. No okay, problem. I'll change, I'll, sure. I'll change yeah, mine. Sure. And <laughs> <laughs> yours just came into your head instantly. Yeah. You are, I, know for, I know you're the type of woman who are extremely emotional. You are extremely emotional and <laughs> certain any bits like get to you a lot. Like you get angry even easily. So I don't want you to be like, oh, you know God, we're on TV. did I what? We're on TV. <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah. You so, said, oh, no, I want to know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there are so many things. She has, she knows what she's going to, but it doesn't really matter for that. But what I'm saying is, do you really want to pick that or you want to change? And if you're changing, what do you want to change to? So, should I say what I yeah, want to change to? 20. 20. Yeah. And uh, are you sure that's what you want to change to? Yes. Should she change to that? But that's her choice. <laughs> <laughs> and so we have 11 20 p.m. Yeah. Is that? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Move your and I know how I'm saying. Are you sure? Yeah, are yeah, you sure? sure. Eleven twenty p.m. Yes. yes. Eleven twenty p.m. Yeah. Okay. So, mostly people expect me to read them. All right. Mm -hmm. So they are mostly on guard. Mm -hmm. But what people are not on guard about is about predictions. Mm -hmm. When I never tell you I even predicted anything, your guards are never up. Mm -hmm. You said eleven. You said twenty. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And the hour was PM, right? Yeah. Yeah. If I go to my phone, mm -hmm. all right, you sure you you can change your mind this thing? No, I'll change again. You can you can see my phone, all right? Yeah. I've, I've unlocked it. Go to the camera. <laughs> go to the camera. Okay. You use an iPhone, so you know the last picture will be at the right corner, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Tap it. At home, I have a clock. Yeah. And it's a digital clock, like you said. Mm -hmm. Zoom into the time. And what's the exact time? It says. <laughs> what? what is that? What is that? Hey! So Let me you see. don't mean it. The exact time reads. You can tell the audience. <laughs> and you can see. I, I took that picture yesterday. It's actually there. You can see. I took that picture yesterday. It's not that I just did it. <laughs> it is eleven twenty, and it's actually. I, I don't believe it. I, this is of course, you can take my phone and you can actually just send it. What, 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 what time did you take that picture? Yeah, just take it. I took a lot of pictures. Yesterday? Is yesterday. 2.56. You, even... <laughs> you are kidding me. Whoa. So it is 11.20 and it's actually the 23 you know so it doesn't even come like 11 the normal 11 we know it comes like 23 GMT <laughs> and you are trying to hammer on the 23 to prevent me from doing anything <laughs> just, and I agree so no, no. I can go to my photos okay uh -huh. I think my photos should be here okay you go to the photos you can see I've taken a lot of pictures yeah. all right that's the only picture of a clock yeah but how am I to verify that this is your room no, that's not my room. Come on, if that was my room, I would have showed it on live TV. Hmm. So, I so just took a picture of this last, uh, yesterday and I was like, let me just try and get these guys to think about it without letting them know they are going to think about it. So the lesson is for influencing, all right, in, in terms of what I do, yeah. it is as a matter of me not telling you I'm going to do it so that you don't have your guards up so you are actually confident of your own selves mm -hmm. like they say mental slavery is the biggest is the yeah. best form of slavery mm -hmm. if you're not aware that you're being enslaved or you're not aware that you're being coached into doing something no guards are up and you believe that it is you who did it where else you all picked it for me so so let's let's do something else so, wait wait last one where was this picture taken last one 
Bibia, ya true Bibia or Shrezumi, who needs here? Where I thought it was coming from when you texted me. No, I think it's AJ who uh, texted AJ. you. Yeah. You can ask her. I was AJ, in AJ, Kumasi. Where, where, where was he coming from? You can ask her. Where was I coming from? You were coming from Kumasi. Good. What's the location? <laughs> Kumasi. <laughs> So, <laughs> man, it's, but that's how it is. So, no, so those are, because this can be coincidental. Yeah, of you know. course, like everything in terms of the mind can be coincidental. So do something so else. Let's, <laughs> let's <laughs> so I asked myself, how can I act as see if I can see what else I really can't see? Yeah. And that's when I got to find a Chinese um, philosopher who actually honed blind people into being able to see. So in China, you have a, a, a sect where some Chinese men who are blind are actually ninjas. Mm -hmm. And they use the, uh, sec the uh, second sight and everything yeah. to do whatever they do. So we try that and see where it moves from. But of course, I have some bits of vision on me. So to prevent that, we would literally have to blindfold me. Okay? And... <laughs> Yeah, see. <laughs> so, and the best form of blindfold most people don't know is using duct tape. You know that, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, and don't worry. To even make it even much more funny, that's mm -hmm. why I brought this. Then we use a blindfold made from aluminium itself. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I took the liberty of tomboyancy and finding it out to make sure people can actually realize there are no holes in between. Can I see? We, oui, of course. I can touch it. Of course. <laughs> you can do whatever you need. <laughs> I would have used this, but I realized this okay. is material. Mm -hmm. People may say you can so. see through it in any way. So I decided why not use a metal system <laughs> which you can see through. And also in doing that, I can't bring just special things. So I just brought, I don't want to do any adverts, but I just brought this which I got from yeah. a colleague's room. Mm -hmm. All right, so that it looks spontaneous. There's nothing set up. You can actually verify this is just a piece of paper you can get as soon as you buy a SIM card. You know that, right? So that's what we'll do. And you help me. <laughs> because you're the most skeptic in the room, actually. Okay. You know that, right? Yeah. So if you fail, you failed. If you succeed, you succeeded. Can I you understand? Like I can't see. <laughs> you, you understand? Okay. Okay, so that's what we'll do. Make sure you can see through this. I haven't folded it in a, any special way which you can see through. Make sure. You can take it and make sure. No, I, I but see. But can you I open see. it up for us to see first? This is just something you get when you buy a SIM card. Uh, no, I just wanted to see because it was folded. Okay. <laughs> yes. So, <laughs> okay. So, I take the glasses off. Mm -hmm. You want it to be as fair as possible, right? Of course. I take the glasses off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. There are no special whatever. Make sure there's nothing even in my ears to, so that if someone is watching, a person can literally whisper whatever. Yeah. There are no yes. earpieces, whatever. Mm -hmm. You guys just connected me to this. The microphone, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And it's not like someone is at the back whispering anything to me. No. <laughs> so this is what we do. We just pick this. Mm -hmm. I'm just showing you the process. Okay. That's all. Then we tape this eye like this. You continue the rest, all right? Oh, come on. I think this it goes this way. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Then we take this. We take a bit of tape. It's taking a lot, a long time, I'm, I'm, right? I'm, 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 so I'm, I'm, I'm trying fine. to be as patient as possible. Let's just do it this so that it covers the eye perfectly. And good. Can you hold this? Sure. Excellent. You cover the rest, all right? So this is what I want you to do. I want you to take long strips so that you make sure you don't leave any hole uncovered. And vertically cover every single piece to make sure every place is covered. Do it right now. So as you are doing this, okay, can you take the tape and start doing this? Yeah, I'm doing yeah. it. Uh, yeah. yeah. So as of, oh, okay, I was trying to listen <laughs> to see if I could do it. Yeah. So as he's doing this, I, I uh -huh. want you to draw right in a thing. Um, people around can bring anything that they think um, it's impossible to detect and they can bring it onto this place onto the platform <laughs> and you can also draw anything you prefer draw, draw right I don't really care it, okay. it's all I would write something I don't have a problem you're so not supposed what, to tell me so bring anything it could be anything if I tell you what to bring then yeah. I, I'm literally not detected please when you're done you just let me know that's all I think I'm done you're done yeah. okay good can so I, have, I have my... good. and you also press to make sure you can actually feel my eyes and they are still in there, right? 
Yeah. Yeah. But why are your eyes good? good. Most people <laughs> think when you when you do this, right? I in a way squeeze my eyes. You you have no idea what the explanations people give to this kind of stuff. Yeah. So where exactly is I please there? The metal? Yeah. The metal, has, it's right behind it's you. It's right behind you. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then as an element of this thing, we just place this on. And oh gosh. Okay. So, Firma, that's what I want yes. you to do. I want you to, and whilst she's doing this, um, this is my left, right? So, um, I didn't get your name. Atto. Atto. Yes. You can also write or draw anything you want. Okay. I don't really have a problem with anything it is. Okay. And when you're done, just let me know. Where's <laughs> <sighs> my mark? So, Firma. Yeah? I'll use you as a warm up, all right? Okay. Hey. Mostly, I hate doing this, but I need to do this to free up my hands a bit. Okay. Take any objects. Uh -huh. When you're holding an object, please do let me know. Okay, so and I... let go of every other object you're holding. Is okay. that okay? Don't make noise with the objects. Let go of. So um, I, I think when whilst I was talking to you, you're holding um, the CCTV yeah. thing. You can place it on the table. Okay. And you can only hold exactly what you have in your hand. Okay. When you have something in your hand, please let me know. Yes, I do. I have something. You have something in your hand. So yes. this is what I want you to do. I want you to just hold it. Uh -huh. Can you do that? Yes. You're holding it, right? I'm holding it. Okay, hold it carefully. Uh -huh. And actually, you can actually verify exactly everything I'm doing as well. Okay. So, um, Firma is actually more religious than most people think she is, though. So because of that, um, the this thing is actually better. You're holding this thing like so if I'm trying to mimic it perfectly. And... Uh, Good. This is something that feels smooth, all right. And as I say, it feels smooth, all right. The frequency I was getting was that of a bit of a reddish, whitish thing. So good, good. I'm getting that. And there's something written on it. But as soon as I was even saying reddish, whitish, you pounced on top, even giving that face. And then there was good. This is a cup, right? Oh, it is a cup, is it? It is. Okay, good. Take something much more this and there's something people have done over and over. Something that is difficult to actually feel across board and okay. everything. When you have something in your hand, you can let me know. And okay. do not make noise in in anything you do because as soon as you make noise, okay, and so no, I should no, no. drop the um, yeah, drop the cup. cup. You should only have one object in your hand at a time. Okay. Else it changes. So this when you get this, whatever you're I holding, have as, you, as soon as you have something, please do let me know. You have something? Yes, I do. Good. Same thing. You hold it and then this time you're holding it a bit similar, but. Okay, this is a bit more difficult. Okay, this way the this thing is so it's kind of like it's not blue, no, blue is a bit lower. Yeah, blue is a bit lower. So it's green, right? It's green. So this thing is green and wow. It has smooth sides as well, but its shape is a bit different though. Its shape is a bit different. Um This is your shoe, your, this, this, something you're wearing, shoes, uh, high heel, whatever it is, something like that, right? Is that it? Yeah. Oh, thank you. So, um, so that could be very much more important, is that you don't feel it's something maybe, or, or your super ability or whatever, just mm -hmm. anything else, whatever you okay. think, it can be any single thing. Okay, All right. so I have something else. You have something else? else? Okay, yes. same thing, okay. Okay, so this thing is wow. Hmm. Ah. Okay, it's red, it has a smooth distance, but seriously, move drew. Oh, are you, I just saw the this it's a fire extinguisher, isn't it? Okay, so uh, a new detector, that's what we're doing tell you, but yeah, something like that. So most people will be like, uh, maybe with objects there, uh, yeah. so that's when I took it a, a step further, mm -hmm. all right? And that's why I told you to either draw right something. Do you so, have yes. something you've drawn right, yeah, whatever? I've, I've can, something. can you place it face up, face down, whatever, okay. on my hand, so that, okay. and this is something, can I have it, or whatever yeah, it is? Okay, this is face down. Okay, yeah. and um, I took, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Place your hand around it, make sure you can feel it. Just I can't make, feel it, I can't. No, I mean, make sure you can feel whatever is written on it. You can pass your hand through over it and be like, okay, this is a this or this is a that. No. I you can't do that. Yeah. There is no way and there's no braille in any no. way connected to it. Um is it this way or this way? Which way is it? 
So the writerless on the other side. You should be able to tell this, me. I have uh, no idea that. actually. I want to see. This is plain too far. Yeah. Okay. This. So the writing is here, right? Yes. Okay. Let's try something. I'll do this face down so the next one I can do face up. So that. But this is what we'll do. You see the writing is here. Yes. Yeah. It's a sentence, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Good. Oh, it's a very short sentence, though. Okay. Guys, this is Upside Down Show. We're having a really great time here with Ahokeja. Yes, I wow. see your messages, but... It's still not... It's not I love you, really. I'm coming. Just relax. Okay. I, I, I did it. Oh, wait. Wait a second. Um, can I, am I allowed to touch your wrist? Am I allowed to touch your wrist? If nothing will happen to me. Okay. Can, can I touch you? Just your wrist. Just your wrist. Okay. Where I have a watch on or the other one? Yeah, any place. I don't okay. Just your wrist because okay. I'm having a bit of difficulty. Um, can you actually think of the last two words <laughs> for me? It's more difficult for me. I don't really know exactly what's written. Mm -hmm. Let me cheat the system a bit. Um, I love... Oh, okay. Um, it looks like it's something got to do with family, and I wouldn't say maybe a lot. So it's kind of like sons or something. So yes. it's either you love your sons or I you love your boys. Or you love your boys. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, yeah. So and at of course, this will be some something simple mm -hmm. for me in a way. So you should do something much more impossible to guess or whatever. So do you have something written? This will be the final. Do you yeah. have something? Yeah, it could I be just, drawn, written. I don't really care yeah, what it I'm is. Not, yeah. And yeah, let me I'm, just show it to the audience okay, first, okay. so you can see what I drew. To, hey, what is this? To prevent myself from <laughs> acting like a fool. And of course, to make sure that everyone, because sometimes someone can draw like a pineapple and mm -hmm. it looks like a ball. Okay? Yeah. So to prevent them, you can write the name of this thing on it because okay, so we true shows exactly and whatever. What people used to draw stuff, all right? People can draw something. They say it's a duck, but it looks like a gun. So, mm -hmm. and you're like, how the hell? Yeah, and those kind yeah, of stuff. I and you. The audience is like, hey, and the other okay, guys yeah, like, so hey. So done. because of that, um, can. Yeah, yep. it should be here. So, Can you yeah, just ready. you to prevent me from just hovering my hands? Uh, okay, good. So same thing. Is it here or here? It's there. It's there. Yeah. Where it's you here. have now? Yes. Okay, I told you I'll try and do this mm -hmm. like this. And, okay, so <laughs> oh come on, this is going to be more more difficult. You, you show it to the camera, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so there's kind of like an arrow. I don't know what the arrow is there for. But there's kind of like an arrow. What else? I'm coming. It's like some squiggly lines, something like so. Charlie, uh, I, uh, I do you know what you should do? Uh, I can't really get. Um, in your mind, just picture this. You've drawn it, so you two in your mind, just picture this thing for me. Can you do that? Mm, I'm doing. You're here, right? You're directly yeah. here, right? Okay. Oh, okay. So this is kind of like a biological something. Uh, oh, seriously, is that how to draw a nose? Ah, oh. <laughs> are you kidding me? This, this thing has to be like, you see. Don't you throw them? So, and to even make sure so people don't think this is an illusion, when this thing comes off, everything is still intact. And you have, wow, this is where the whole thing is. Oh, God. And you can literally see there are no cheats, nothing. Mm -hmm. It comes off clean. No, so, so, so <laughs> I conclude that you are some kind of a wizard or you're a sorcerer or you do something spiritual. Because this is, I, I don't see the tricks in this. And, and I was actually, my heart was actually beating a, a step faster because I was wondering what was going to happen. I thought, this is, this is strange. Hmm. Hmm. So, I <sighs> thought... Yeah, I, 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 I still believe there's there's a there's a trick to it, um, mm -hmm. which I know you won't share with us because it's something that you do. But I mean, I'm impressed. Trust me. Ahoka thank you very thank you very, very much. much. Now this has been very insightful and very entertaining. <laughs> Whatever it is that you are using, good luck to you. Right. So this is the upside down show. We have more in stock for you. Don't go away. This is the beating heart of an African, ready for what is next. And this is the sound of a Ghanaian drum, 
setting the pace. Together, it creates a seamless rhythm of what is and what is to come. A sense of purpose which says that there is more to the Ghanaian than a dream. Ghana always stands ready and First National Bank is happy to invest, partner and help Ghana to discover more. This is why we are happy to announce our acquisition and subsequent merger with GHL Bank, Ghana's leading provider of mortgage financing. A merger which delivers an opportunity to discover more growth and prosperity for all Ghanaians. Listen to the heart beat to the rhythm of the drums. It is time for Ghanaians to discover more together. First National Bank and GHL Bank come together as First National Bank. How can we help you? Well, guys, welcome back to your favorite show, Outside Down. So the hashtag is Outside Down. And guys, we want to hear from you as usual. So the WhatsApp number 0550-585832. If you're out of the country, the country code is plus two three three. Let's hear from you. And um, Frame, I just want to ask, what has uh, been your fondest childhood memory when it comes to TV? The most right. iconic moment. So um, I used to love, um, you know, TV theater. Mm. I love By the Far Side. I loved Checho Kule. Remember Checho Kule? Checho Kofisa. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had, you know, an amazing kind of detective like mm. show. Mm. And there was this guy in it, you know, he's got some amazing voice. And it's a fine dude, you know, and all the girls are talking about him. Mm. And everybody's mm. like, so he's better be there. And, you know, looking at him from afar, he looked like some kind of two known guy who kind of felt that, you know, I'm fine, I have a nice voice, you know, and he'll be talking with some face B. So it's but I mean, Aku was my all time what, favorite. Your yeah. Anyway, um, um what was I, yours? I, I think uh, my favorite um, or iconic moment as a child was a uh, fun world when it used to come on T V every Saturday and it comes at the time where I haven't finished my chores. You know that thing? I don't know. I don't why do and you do always that? they had some kind of hidden chores that is only it when, just comes when you're just about enjoying your favorite yes. show, you know, and then they come in with have you watched the dishes, you know. Sorry call room kukoni. Have, you, kind of have you done the homework that you were supposed to do last week? Are they giving you homework for tomorrow? Like I how? How? Right, so, <laughs> you know, we just had all these amazing um, memories growing up and then after some time we're not seeing him, he did so well at a point he was doing, you know, um, copyright stuff, yeah. the Cosga thing, and then equity and he's done so much PR, and I mean, I'm <laughs> just realizing that this guy was just born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Yes, I was saying that as oh, well. Oh, brother. <laughs> Anyway, so guys, uh, we're going to be joined by Oscar Provencal, uh, he's our guest for today. We're going yeah, to talk yeah. everything Inspector Bediaco, and for those of you who are looking forward to the next season like I am, well, we'll find out from him. My conclusion is that the killer has an axe to grind with all rapists. Now, he either could be a victim or somebody who's hired the killer to do the job for him. Or maybe he's an aggrieved person, somebody who feels that justice has eluded him. But look, if we continue on these lines, we're not going to get anywhere. That's why I had to use you. You use me as a bait. Come on, who else could I use? Look, I use you because of who you are and what you are. So, guys, let's welcome Inspector Yay! Media for Oscar Provencal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can keep oh, talking to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Yeah. So which one should it be, Inspector Bediakon or Oscar? I like Inspector Bediakon. I think I prefer Oscar because <laughs> I've lost my name. Mm. Everybody calls me Inspector Bediakon, mm. so I think Oscar for the moment is nice. How does it feel like, you know? Um, let me see. Uh, you have to take it all in, mm. you know, and you know that it's only by grace. Mm. Not so many of us as uh, actors and entertainers after 20, 30 years are still you know, um, given so much attention mm. and nostalgia. So um, it's, it's only grace. Wow, interesting, <laughs> you know. But I, I have just been going through your profile, trying to understand where you have come from and all. And you were born with a silver spoon in your mouth. I mean, having a father who was a first mayor, having a career diplomat as a mother as a and mother. all childhood yeah. must have been fantastic for you. How was it like? 
Well, I, I can't deny that. I think I had an amazing childhood, mm. um, a, a very privileged childhood mm. that fortunately for me, um, both my parents um, grounded us quite well. And um, from an early age, you know, I mean, we had, you know, as a young kids, you mm. you play with the drivers and yeah. the driver's kids and, you know, yeah. and fortunately um, that kind of stuck with me. And I saw the humility and the service that mm. they rendered. Um, and uh, the, anybody who knows me, really knows me. I heard you saying that, you know, they think I'm too known. Well, do, do people but think that? Have you, do you hear this? Absolutely. A lot of people think that. And that's because I used a, a mechanism to keep people away. Mm. Okay. You'll see me with a very stern face. Uh -huh. Yeah, I remember that. that, 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 that you know, usual. you know, like, you're talking, you know, you know yeah. Uh, very, and I, I don't like attention. I'd rather go and sit in the back of the room and not be seen or heard. Mm. Um, so, yeah, there's a perception that has come all these years. and uh, But my really close friends know that I'm just one. One grounded, two grounded. Mm. Wow. If you bring some sookings right now, we'll drop <laughs> right now. <laughs> so, so how did it start for you, the whole acting, going into the acting space? How mm. did it start for you? That's a good question, but you know, it starts from childhood. Mm. Um, everybody develops their talent from childhood. You identify your talent. Um, in my early early stages, I, I won reading competitions in school uh, when I was in the UK. Um, I loved watching films. My my uh, stepdad, who I lived with, because mm -hmm. my my father and my mom, you know, were yeah. were separated, uh, were divorced, and she remarried. Um, and he had this movie theater. In those days, very people had, yeah. you know, the mm -hmm. theater with the reel. And, yeah. you know, we were watching Vincent Price and mm -hmm. all these movies. And I was totally captivated by the movie scene. So in school, I mean, I was drawn to drama and theater. Mm -hmm. uh, we did things like mm -hmm. uh, Shakespeare's Hamlet. And, okay. You know, and uh, we did Pygmalion, My Fair Lady, mm -hmm. um, Beauty and the Beast, mm -hmm. you know, and a whole host of yeah. stuff. But everybody has their talent. Yeah. And you just want to hope and pray that every single individual finds that talent, finds that gift mm. that God has given them mm. in their lifetime. Yeah. And try and do the, make the best of it mm. so that, you know, don't throw your dreams away. Mm. And that's something that I definitely don't intend to do because that's what gives me my passion. Mm. That's my heartbeat. Mm. That's everything. And people think that, why are you still acting at this stage? Yeah. And I say, well, that, I, that's where I get my peace. That's yeah. where I get my satisfaction mm -hmm. if you get it somewhere else good, good for you yeah you know so um if i were to just pop off one day i'd love to do it on stage mm. wow if you look back you know there's better the mm. days the deadly voyage and all the amazing productions that you have done how would you rate our movie industry today Charity. how is it like well, Are we making any progress? I, I, I will tell you that that's a pretty unfair question because, okay. because you know, it's like comparing oranges to apples. We are still in our embroidering stage. Uh -huh. I mean, even the framework, the legal framework for us to, to get off the ground, uh, it just happened in 2017 mm -hmm. with the Film Authority. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, even though there was a previous law, but what we now use going forward, yeah. you know, um, happened in 2017. Mm -hmm. we, we just had the uh, Film Authority inaugurated yeah. a few months ago, mm -hmm. yeah. you know. So we are really at the embroidering stage. And it's a stage where people have to understand that now film is business. Yeah. Film is not just come and fool around. And in business, you have all levels. Mm -hmm. You uh, can sell to my to tabletop. Yeah? yeah, you can do kiosks. Mm -hmm. and you can do corporate business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's a free market. So as far as I'm concerned, anybody who puts and invests money into film wants a return. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter how he's going to get it, he wants mm -hmm. a return. Yeah. So people are going to have to start thinking critically because this is the age of content. Mm. We have a situation now where COVID-19, mm -hmm. pre-COVID-19, post-COVID-19, yeah. we have to deal with what's gonna happen to mm -hmm. the film industry. We're moving away from maybe theaters, maybe not. Mm -hmm. um, we look at the digital space 
And that's where people are going to start marketing their films mm -hmm. because that's a billion people out. How many yeah. billion? Like so many the whole people. World yeah. Is yeah. Out. Yeah. Like seven billion. You know, instead of uh, 50, 100 people in a cinema hall. What is it that you want to do? Is make returns. Now, we have to be responsible. Mm. In making those returns mm -hmm. what is the content that we're going to produce for me i'm a pan-africanist yeah i believe that this is the stage where africa needs to sit up and rise up mm. radically mm -hmm. do you think that um industry players are not telling their stories properly and so we are not being taken seriously or you think that out there people just don't understand what we are doing they still think that we are doing some kind of concert and so mm. if you have a music out there anybody can play it and they don't owe you anything if you have a movie anybody can show it on their channels mm. and they don't owe you anything mm. what, what is the problem the problem is a question of value mm -hmm. Do we have a society that values the creative art and yeah. the creative space? Let's put it that way. The answer to that really is no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Largely part to maybe singing and dancing and drumming and all that is part of our natural day-to-day -day yeah. things we do at home. So what value do you place on this? Mm -hmm. But times have changed and you'll see gradually that value is being placed. I mean, look at the likes of Shatter and Stone Boy and yeah. stuff. I mean, it, they didn't start it. Yeah. They didn't start it. Mm -hmm. But they've got somewhere and they're taking it to a next level. Yeah. Um, they realize they need management. You know, they need branding corporate branding and stuff like that yeah. so so it is happening the dynamics are changing radically so each and every one of us have to feed into that we have to research and we have to understand mm. what is happening yeah. and then position ourselves to take advantage of what is out there sure. because now it's about monetization mm -hmm. yeah. yes mm -hmm. I can be creative <clears throat> but I want I want to make a living yeah. Yeah. I want to have a good life relatively I want to be able to take take my kids to school mm -hmm. and feed. It's very difficult to do that in Africa in the creative space. That's true. You probably have to do something else alongside. Mm. I mean, <laughs> how he talks and he hey. doesn't shout, and you know, very calm. His voice? You know, the voice. Like it hasn't changed really. You know, talking about the voice and your swag and everything, and you know that I think that you do, <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> it was supposed to be up here simply just to know, you know. But talking about that, I remember even as young as I was, mm -hmm. you know, I could tell, and amongst my friends, I could go, well, he's a fine guy, he's all Fim that. How did you deal with women back then? I ran away. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> oh, no, spill I mean, it, spill it. Th there's always been this perception, and, you know, Ghana, when, when they say you're yeah, a fine guy, yeah, there's a, everybody thinks you're a womanizer. But what else? It's not for voice. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, I, I wouldn't say I was an angel, I mean, but... You know, I think I think we exaggerated, and unfortunately for us mm -hmm. in the creative space, because we're out there, once again, we're a microcosm. When you go, the bosses are doing it with the secretary, the doctors are doing it with the nurses, mm -hmm. uh, everybody's doing it. So it was okay for you to but have your we, share. We, when we do it, we, we, when we do it, everybody <laughs> is, hey. Because you're always out there. So, you know, I mean, um, you know, that's a perception you have to live with. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm happy with myself, and... Uh, my family and my people are happy with me and uh, that's how it is I mean it comes with the territory so you have to deal with it talking yeah. about family mm -hmm. you have five a wife kids. and mm -hmm. kids. kids yes how does madame deal with all these you know being out there and um, all the comments that will come with it how does she deal with it I, 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 you probably have to ask her. <laughs> so what kind of a husband and a father are you um, I think I think I'm, I think I've done I don't know. I mean, they will have to judge me. I mean, I think I should um, just get Annie on the line. Maybe you should. Maybe you should. <laughs> no, and you that's, just... that's my daughter we're talking about. <laughs> um, I, I, I've tried to make my, my kids my friends. Mm -hmm. um, they're my buddies. We, we, we talk about everything and we, 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 we do party and we have fun. Um, so, you know, that's and when you have a career like mine, when you're not around so much because you're busy or running around and stuff like that, the least chance you have with them, you try and make the, the maximum mm. best with them. And um, fortunately, they're all grown now. Um, How old are they? Uh, the eldest is 26. Ooh. 
when I first daughter just turned 23, mm -hmm. and he's yeah. 20, so, you know, I mean, and I've, the got youngest? Five, I've got five kids, okay. she's 14, Okay. Uh, come, going 15 in a, you know, Few few days time, okay. um, and so you know, uh, they're my life. Mm. You know, um, we live for our kids, um, and we just want to leave a legacy that they can pick up on, uh, lessons that they can pick up mm. on, and um, we'll have to leave them at one point to to live their own lives. Mm. And we just hope that the values and you know the love that we have shown as parents um, and so forth. We'll, we'll let them build their own family units mm. in the same manner. Right. So, you know, talking about, I just want your thoughts on this. Why don't men or husbands love wearing their rings? <laughs> I'm not uh, saying that because of you. No, 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 no. no. For a job, when you want a job, <laughs> you can job. But you see, uh -huh. uh, rings are a foreign concept. Okay. Um, but each man to his own, mm -hmm. you know. Um, uh, the marriage between two people. Yeah. Two people must understand each other. You know? Mm -hmm. um, so marriage is not about a ring. Okay. Anybody who tells you marriage is about a ring is a fool. Mm. It's not about a symbol, showing. Symbol? What symbol? What is symbol when you don't have a human relationship that holds a marriage? So mm. you have a human relationship, but when you're stepping out, I mean. Stepping out is what? So that you, somebody Do sees that. Do you know that... that the women of today want to see a ring because when they see the ring it's a responsible man he can afford to give me apartment he can give me car he can give me so that, that's money. what the ring symbolizes what huh? is ring is that marriage is a relationship one? yeah mm, it's mm. a relationship so i've never won it, a wedding ring oh i have but uh, you know so but at, at what point did you realize that it doesn't matter we all evolve mm -hmm. mm, mm. as human beings yeah we ha we all evolve and so it's an evolutionary process. I mean, if my wife says, I want you to wear a ring, and it will cause problem in the house, I'll wear a ring. Mm -hmm. I don't want a problem in the house. She's never complained? Not at all. Oh, wow. So it's, it's, really, it's really about two people who must understand themselves and must work together, you know, and be happy. I mean, at the end of the day, you simply want to be mm. happy. Mm. And so you work it out. Mm. Oscar, I, I must say, it hasn't been, a... been easy. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're going through the fire. <laughs> it hasn't been easy, yeah. but you're still there. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's been a wonderful experience having you uh, with us. But uh, before you leave us and before we go on the break, we would just like you, in true upside down style, to sign off for us and let our viewers know that they are watching upside down on City TV. The Inspector Bedi Akunwe. Voice, yes. So I, I can be Akusi Abdallah. <laughs> okay, so which of the cameras am I looking? Choose a camera. So right come. there. Four? Yeah, right there. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, viewers, thank you very much for watching Upside Down. This is Inspector Bediaku, aka, now it's aka Inspector Bediaku, <laughs> Oscar Provencal, signing off for these two beautiful young people. All right, guys. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll and then we break. should have had it. Da, 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 the song da, is about da, 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 you know? <laughs> And after yeah. Oscar said it, what more can I say? But before we go for the quick commercial break, we have uh, some mocktails and cocktails from the juice guy. And we're going to refresh ourselves, you know, <laughs> <clears throat> just before we go for the break. So, uh, yes, come on in, come on in, come on in. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. is colorful. Mm. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. What's what's this? Okay, okay. so what's this leaf? Well, well, I'm I'm going to yeah, that's, that's okay. the mint leaf. Oh, okay. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> so cheers. That's all that's about it. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Cheers, 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 cheers. All right, guys, we're going to go for a quick uh -huh. commercial break. Yeah. I'm going to back the small right here on upside down. <laughs> guys, you're welcome back. Uh, where all the fun is. The hashtag is upside down show right here on CCTV. And guys, we want to hear from you. Your messages are coming in, but we can't read them <laughs> right now. We'll be scrolling down on your screens. So the WhatsApp number is definitely 055 058 At this point, uh, moving from an actor to uh, what I can call another social media actor, we're going to be interacting with K. Kets, as I call him, the man behind the Kpapo, the Kpapo animation you see with the family guy. Good evening! I want a direct girl to reception. Sir, do you mean reception? And please, who are you going to see? I'm going to see your father. Are you the reception owner? 
Say, please don't disrespect me. You can't just walk in without telling me who you're going to see. I'm just doing my job. Your job is to watch cars. Yeah, so, tea free, that's it. Come here. Do that, though. You are trying to stood at me like I'm coming to you. Do you want me to call Mr. Sawa Atavesa for you to be suffering? This is Jumana Hotel. Invite mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Curtis to join us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. 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 Welcome to Upside yeah. Down. Uh, thank you. I can see you face properly. You know you can trust a person through the eyes. Yes, because my eyes is blinking. Okay, Mini. My eyes is blinking. It's blinking. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, yeah. Curtis. So, I mean, you are doing amazing stuff, thank you, you know, thank especially you, thank you. Um, the animation things that you've been doing. What has the motivation been? Uh, I mean, I was there someday, and a friend of mine from the state um, called me. I was like, Curtis, I know, I know how you do your thing way back, like, because you know how to crack jokes. So he sent me one of these um, funny things called Mad Lips. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I start with the Mad Lips and um, we get to some point. Um, this, you know, Ghanaians, when they see something, a lot of people start doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. So uh, my friend called me, was like, ah, get this right now. You start doing this insulting a lot. Like, can you just stop the insult? But I was like, oh, no, because you know, Ghanaians, when the moment they see something, all of them would like to go mm -hmm. for the yeah. same thing. So I decided to stop. So I was there uh, some some few months ago, and a friend of mine also called me from the UK. I was like, okay, since the mad lives, they give you seconds. Like, you, you send me an app, mm -hmm. which I can download a video online, and I can just do my own thing for like an hour or mm -hmm. any minute I want. Mm -hmm. So I start with the family guy, mm -hmm. um, Peter Griffin. Yeah, Peter Griffin. Yeah, I, I start with that one, and um, I got a message from them from YouTube saying, if I really want to use the video for, for a while, like, I need to work with them and they can give me my percentage and all that. Oh, so, so, you, so you, yeah. As you sit here, you're getting royalties for the family. family. Guy. Queen's a few, go a bit. That's so, why you're wearing bling bling and you're smiling. Anyway, if I'm wearing full swing, you're going to go on Right now, just call for some <laughs> celebration. Yeah. So we've got the juice guys still around and um, I think we need to cheers to this. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, so please bring it. Of course, me. what do you think it is? <laughs> money is good. Uh, yeah. Either way, yeah, money is good. Money is good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, the juice guy. Mm. <laughs> so, guess is, uh, let's so guess cheers we, we, on we, we, we can oh, the royalties. Cheers to the royalties. Yeah, yeah, cheers. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Do you want to use this one for a skit? Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, it's okay. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Mm -hmm. uh, the team, the team, the team, fine. Oh yeah, you're fine. <laughs> it makes my voice sing right now. You're fine. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. So, so what? How do you do it? I mean, what, what, what? Uh, do you have like concept notes? Do you put down some notes before you put into your whole video you know, package? Um, no, I always tell my friends like I don't know how God created me because like mm. I have so many talent. Mm -hmm. I do music as well. Yeah, I, I saw that. Um, on 2016, music. Techno even wanted to buy one of my songs. Mm. Wow. Yeah, but I was like, nah, because like. I feel like there will be a time where I'll get there and um, this one song that you, you, you buy from me, he can Techno. make a lot of money yeah. and yeah. I mean that money he might give me within a few years or within a month, not nah, song. Mm -hmm. So I can even take my time and let's Those say when I get there I can just release that song and who knows, maybe that, that song might be my biggest song and mm. I'm giving mm. it to someone. So yeah. yeah. So I, I know how to dance salsa, um, dance, um, sing, rap, comedy, yeah, all that. Wow. So we're doing salsa to... before you go. I know, I know, <laughs> oh, the, you know basic, how to do salsa. the basic, the oh, basic. Yeah. So what I mean, goes into yeah. it? Um, you know, the, the whole thing is like, I don't write anything. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't, I never sit down and be like, oh. What? <laughs> Wait, in this Ghana here? Yeah, I mean, like everyone over, was, over, everyone over was, every, everyone was paying fifty Ghana cities. So I got like six thousand people paying it, and even at that time, I have like seventy-five thousand followers. So imagine now that I have almost like three hundred thousand followers um, doing something big right now. Yeah, and also like big shout out to Ibrahim Mama for supporting me and all that. Like because of this particular thing, I've met a lot of people in my life that Charlie, I have no idea because I'm too young to meet 
a lot of people. I mean, mm. the only person I've met right now is Akufuado, but I've met the wife, I've met a couple of people as well. And um, like I said, Ibrahim Mama has been the Charlie, the main thing for for surprise me some time ago. He called me, was like, Kets is why I saw my home. I was like, yo, Charlie, who in private jet airport and just meets me. I was so surprised. And also, he paid for my um, comedy show at East mm. Legon because of the coronavirus. So, uh, get, like I'd been on before, mm. just go and do the stand up comedy. So, uh, yeah, I'm coming up with an app t shirt. Um, also, thinking about doing a papu piota and all that. So, I have wow. a big plan. You, you, uh, you really have a so, 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 how long have you been doing this? Um, three years. I, f I feel like most of the people online don't know how to use nomads to make money, mm. as in when it comes to social media like Instagram. Because, me, the moment someone follow me online, it means shikani I mean. Mm. Because let's say example, you just follow me on Instagram right now. Say, oh, if you love Papa, you follow me. I'm doing something, let's say a comedy show or a movie, and I'm just saying, say, oh, pay ten Ghana city to watch. You will. Mm -hmm. mm. Do you understand? Yeah. So I just want to tell Big and me out there when they when they get like ten thousand followers, then they'll be like, oh, I'm a bigger. No, just make money. Mm. Yeah. Because mm. we're not making money. Mm. You know, talking about making money, you're also doing. Um, Endorsements, you know, product yeah, endorsements like and yeah. other companies and yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. like that. That one, the yeah, play to companies. Even right now, I'm working with um, Enterprise Insurance, like yeah. the whole company, and Enterprise Trusts Insurance, Life, and yeah. Mm. So, I've so where do you see yourself in say the next two years? Because you've been here just three years and you are doing all Five these. Five months. Oh, two years is even too long, huh? Five so, months. Fa yeah. So, what are your we'll... immediate? Because uh, okay, goals? right now I just I just want to come up with the app. Um, they're working on the app. I just oh, want to come up with the app. Yeah, for yeah, yeah. Um, the app, and I'm, I'm just expecting 30,000 people. Everyone is just paying 30 Ghana City. That would be like 900,000 Ghana City. Oh, wow. I, I, you, you know how to make money. Yeah, yeah, he just has his numbers like ready and right. Yeah, and uh, yeah, before he leaves to he do the salsa. Yeah. Um, wow. So, director, please uh, stand by with our salsa music. <laughs> He's going to salsa his way out of this place <laughs> and then uh, we'll, we'll join him uh -huh. and turn things upside down and you know guys. how we do it <laughs> oh yeah we sit here for way for coconut google mm -hmm. uh -huh. i start with them yeah, yeah. just kind of dance so okay okay so we'll follow uh, your lead oh uh, i thought you're you gonna dance <laughs> I just have to stand and watch. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, so this is it. You know how we do it. It's upside down. We just go with the flow. Um, thank you very much. And um, we're going to be with you again next week. My name is Premier Dinamé. And my name is Atukami. Thank you, same time. Stay safe.